Zarif Minty was barely 20-something when he was already listed as a top young South African by a major local publication. He has no doubts about his purpose in life, as Zarif explained to Habib. Good morning, morning, morning. It's 11. Listening to Zarif Minty's warp speed delivery, it's impossible not to respond to his energy and passion for skills development, which is the main thrust of his weekday slots on an online radio platform. Being a radio host is just one of the ways that Zarif is helping and inspiring young people to transform their lives. And when he's not appearing as a motivational speaker, you may find him picking out a look for his next public appearance. Listed as one of South Africa's top 50 best-dressed men by a leading men's fashion publication, he was just 16 when he launched his own clothing brand. As it turned out, this was just a warm-up for the budding entrepreneur and Habib Nurbai met up with Zarif to fill in the details. It is so important for our youth to develop within a variety of facets in life. In particular, drive and tenacity are some important virtues. Today, we hang out with one of the most promising men in South Africa and we chat about his career and how he's unraveled his character towards various spheres of empowerment. Known for punctuality, Zarif arrived precisely as scheduled. Zarif! Habib, hi, how are you? How are you doing? Good, man. Nice well? to see you. Nice to meet you. Good, man. Good, good. Tell us more about a day in your life. My days are pretty busy. I do believe in the whole concept of diversification. I'm a key ambassador for entrepreneurship in South Africa. I believe that young people need to get into entrepreneurial spaces. They need to start businesses at a young age. And I've started up a few businesses as well. I'm going to actually show you my latest venture, which is called a laser boutique. I can't wait. Let's go. Brilliant. Let's go. Zarif holds an LLB degree and considers education to be a key factor in achieving success. But it's his appetite for enterprise and innovation that drives him to seek new challenges and launch fresh ventures. Wow, it's my first time in a laser boutique. Well, what we do here is that it's non-invasive, pain-free laser. You're going to go through between six to eight sessions, and after eight sessions, you'll be here free completely. I'd really like to understand the concept of how it works. Look, I think the best way to do it with you is to obviously show you. That sounds good. Put on your glasses. Thank you very much, Prissy. So, Bib, it's very important that you do put your, your glasses on just to obviously protect your eyes. Um, so, I'm going to do the same thing as well. So, if as you stand there, I see that image and appearance is really important to you. Why is that? I think it's a very important thing. I think that it builds up a lot of confidence in people. It also obviously changes their mindset as well. But I speak about it completely in my book called Empire. Let's have a cup of coffee and chat more about that. Sounds good. It takes careful planning to pack as much into a day as Zarif does. And in his book, he stresses the importance of prioritizing the things that are truly important in life. So if I'm already liking your book, you know, if I just go page through to one of the most favorite parts of your book where you spoke about clothing, and I want to read something that you've said. When your new boss meets you for the first time, best believe that they will be analyzing everything that is in front of them, and they will try to categorize you. It's very important as a young person to make sure that you always dress well. It also helps with confidence at the same time. So if you build up your confidence and you have the confidence to do whatever you want, you'll obviously reach a much higher level than what you would if you were not dressed in a really nice way. What tips can you give modern day men on how they should dress? I think it's dependent on your own style as well. I think some people can pull off certain looks while other people can't. I think you also need to find your own identity of what you actually stand for and what you feel is actually attractive to you. So if you're not just an author, you are also a writer on a number of platforms, a motivational speaker, and you were part of Mailing Guardian's Top 200 Young South Africans in 2014 and the youngest youth president in South Africa. I could go on. And it seems like a one-stop shop for everything. But tell us, how do you do it all? You need to hold yourself accountable in the sense that you need to make sure that you're always on time for meetings. You need to make sure that if you did promise yourself on your calendar or on your diary, for example, that you're going to do five things on that day, you cannot sleep until those five things are done. You know, that's holding yourself to account. Keeping a good inner circle is so important, right? So like if your friends have a different mindset to you, for example, if, if you're more interested in succeeding or being really good at what you do, then you can't be around friends who are into partying every single night. As I look through your book, I see that you all also have a picture of Nelson Mandela. It's Madiba centenary year. How has Madiba influenced you? I think as young people, we need to sit down and say that look at what Nelson Mandela has actually taught us as a nation. The fact that he was so stuck on his morals and values, and we need to start building that up as well as young people. I think what he's done for our country as an icon is, is incredible. <laughs> 